All right, thank you so much everyone for being with us. What a great time we had today with our friends from Washington, D.C. and the Army to give us more information as to what took place today and information on our special guest, our own Mayor Jerry Demings. Mayor? All right, thank you, Dr. Williamson. Uh, we had the privilege today here in Orange County to receive a visit from Undersecretary Ryan McCarthy uh, of the Army. And uh, we shared in this experience today with Mayor Dyer and representatives from the city of Orlando. And we had a wonderful discussion with many community leaders and others uh, about our military and what we can do from the local perspective to assist our, our Army in recruiting individuals. And so at this time, it is my honor to uh, introduce again the Undersecretary of the Army, uh, Mr. Ryan uh, McCarthy. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity to be in the Orlando area. I usually like to come here in the springtime with my family, and we head on the road to the, where the land of the big uh, Mickey ears. Uh, but Mayor Deming, thank you for having us, and for Mayor Dyer also for participating. We had Pastor McCray, Under Sheriff Canty, uh, represented the county sheriff's office. I know uh, Sheriff Mina had to testify today. Um, uh, Ms. Gordon is representing the school board because I know that uh, Dr. Jenkins had a loss in the family. Our condolences uh, go out to her as well. Uh, but uh, also had representation, uh, representation of local business leaders. Uh, a wonderful opportunity for the U.S. Army to really forge stronger relationships here in what is already a wonderful veteran community, uh, the Greater Orlando MSA. Um, but our, the main focus of our mission today was to really connect with the, the communities. Last year, the U.S. Army missed its target goal for active duty recruitment by 6,500 pers personnel across the country. And with that was a recognition that we had to look at ourselves and our recruiting strategy and to ensure that we had our focus right and our message right and how really getting back to the fundamentals of getting back out into the community and engaging with community leaders to help us show the vast opportunities that exist of service in the U.S. Army with over 150 different skill sets, access to college, uh, to financing for college tuition, the tremendous opportunities that exist for young men and women to serve in the U.S. Army, which has been a mechanism to the, as an escalator to the middle class for the over 243 years that we have been in service to the nation. Wonderful opportunity for us, how grateful we are for the leaders that are standing behind me, for the partnerships that we continue to forge, and the work that we'll do collectively to help us with our recruiting goals in the future and connecting within this community. I look forward to seeing Congresswoman Demings when I head back to Washington, <laughs> one of my board of directors and the U.S. House of Representatives, uh, but truly a, a wonderful group of leaders that have been there for us time and again, uh, and we look forward to the future. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. Uh, Ms. Gordon, I don't know if you'd like to say a few words at well, all. Well, you... thank you so very much, Mayor, and to under Secretary McCarthy, I look forward to building this great relationship with you and to the staff and to Colonel Braswell. God bless you and all of the wonderful military staff that we met today. On behalf of our wonderful superintendent, Dr. Barbara Jenkins, she sends her love and her commitment to making sure that there is military in our school. I'm here to make a commitment to make sure that the United States Army is in our school because of the commitment that I've seen when we didn't have the other militaries totally involved with us. But we really want our students to know about the military benefits that are there for our students and starting them at a young age in middle school, it would be an opportunity that is bar none. But right now, we have 22 high schools that we are working with and making sure that these students get the information and working with the recruiters. So today, we learned that we must get a commitment with the recruiters in our counties and in our cities, and we will go back. And I will assure you, Under Secretary, that we will do that. God bless you all. Thank you, Mrs. Mayor. Thank you, uh, uh, Dr. Gordon, and uh, at this time I'm going to ask uh, our civilian aide to uh, the services to come forward, Mr. Ali Braswell. I'll keep my comments brief. I think the Secretary did an excellent job of saying what we we're about and what our mission was here. And what I would tell you is that if you know a soldier, if you know if someone who served in our United States Army, if you see a recruiter, 
stop them, engage them, learn their Army story. Uh, I'm a proud uh, dad of a uh, serving uh, sergeant right now in the United States Army. Um, got another one on the way. Uh, but, you know, the goal is to go out here and find opportunities for our young people. And when we do that as uh, the civilian aide to the Secretary of the Army, it's a privilege to connect our undersecretary who will fly down and spend time with us in Central Florida to bring uh, Lieutenant Colonel Justin Overbaugh and the other members of Gator Battalion to make a difference because they got in their tool bag 150 different opportunities that when a young person is saying, I'm trying to find myself, it may be an Army recruiter who can go in that tool bag and be able to make that connection. I would ask that you just reach out, stop in your local recruiting office and make a new friend. Make a soldier or friend, a member of our community. And when we do that, we'll go out and change lives like that of a young uh, Allie Braswell <laughs> from Central Florida who now gets to stand in this position and continue to serve. So thank you, Mr. Mayor, for allowing me to share. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, at this time, this concludes the press briefing. Uh, thank you for being here this afternoon.